Hello everybody and welcome. I hope this is recording because this is a real good damp in my day. So, um, hello and welcome to F1 Playing Hill. And I'm here not only to rant, but to inform as well. So... Since the since the game fairs coming up, you know, on the twenty ninth of April, I thought this might be a good idea to actually uh, to actually inform uh, what they call it to, to actually inform you know the um to actually inform people about uh, the things you know. So this is. So I'm going to do that so um to inform inform you about something, so I'm sorry about the there's a there's a somebody doing cleaning out in the bathroom, so and uh, my cat's just you know, here she is, she's purring away. And this is what we're talking about today. These are these are these are GameCube memory cards. These little things that are inverted here. You can also get uh, these sort these types of uh, GameCube memory card. And listen closely because this is very very important. Very very important you see unlike unlike uh, the sony memory card which is, the gamecube memory cards work in a slightly different way it's, yes you still plug this little thing into there but uh, if you've noticed this this is a metal side and if you've noticed, you know, this is, this is what, this is what, you know, uh, saves the, uh, file data. This is, this is what, this is what makes your games saved. This is where you, the metal thing helps you save the games. It's, it's the same with this one. So like this little metal, that little metal strip right across there, that helps you save games. So this is, so that's, so that's helps you what the goal it save games on like a different slot sauce and, and stuff. With that, with that metal thing, the uh, the GameCube of you know and things uses this little metal thing you know in order to um. Uh, to do its job to save your game. So, still, you're wondering why I'm ranting. The reason why I'm ranting is because people put put the stick put stick pricing stickers over this these things. So, when I got this, there was a pricing sticker over these, and when I got that, there was a pricing sticker over that. These are not PlayStation 2 memory cards. With PlayStation 2 memory cards, you can take your pick. You can you can put a black pricing sticker over there because the because the main functions are inside. But uh, but play, but uh, GameCube uh, cards. There's not a game. The game function. It, yeah, there's still a bit inside, but it uses the outside metal thing for the game function as well. So. So just don't do it. Don't do not put a pricing sticker over this, otherwise it will damage the the um, GameCube cards. If you if you get it over there, this is what will happen. The card will get corrupted one time or another due to the stickiness of it. Like when I played this, you know, my card suddenly got corrupted. And you know why, because of the stickiness and all these sort of 
bad gunk and stuff on it. And that means it's uh, rendered unplayable. Like I can't, I can't play a game. Last last night, I've decided to play play uh, Sanity Wreck. Wreck, you know, um, Sanity Wreck Requiem, you know, Eternal Darkness, and I couldn't play it because it it told told me now you need to format the card, and I formatted the card, and still it uh, wouldn't let me, you know, because the card may be damaged. So. After saying yes, 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 so many times, I finally did it, but still, it was insisted I format the card. So, because it's all gunky and sticky, because you put a price tag over there, it won't work. So, so if you go, so game people, you know, if you're going to sell, the, if you're going to sell one of these, there's, there's a, what they call it, a few suggestions. Now here's a few suggestions. So you either you can you can still put the price tag on it, but you put the price tag here or there, just you know, and things. You could even you can even somewhat put it around here, but make sure not to touch the metal thing. That's very important. You can put the uh, the what they call it to price tag over there and just write what the what they call it memory card M MP MB is, or you or you can what they call it, or you can do another option which is you know, which is you uh, get some piece of paper, put the memory put the memory card down. And write over the piece of paper while it's uh, down, you know, and things, you know. GameCube memory card, you know, this, you know, what they call it, uh, the game memory card, this price underneath. So you you put you put the you put the uh, GameCube memory card up above, and then you put the price underneath, and you just lay the card there on that piece of paper. So that means the card will be laid there. The pro the uh, the name of the card will be there, you know, GameCube card, and the price would be there under there. And guess what? You're not using any sticky, sticky, um, sticky, sticky thing the prices, because what you're doing basically is uh, I can't, I shouldn't really do this, but uh, what you're doing basically is uh, somewhat taking people's money, which is not good, because. Uh, People, people who have like game cubes, you know, we, we we want a nice little bit of an experience. We want to play that Super Mario game, because, but we can't because we have too much uh, clutter on a memory on on another memory card, maybe like that. And uh, and when it's got all gunk on stuff on it, you know, it means we can't play said games like that, you know, and things, you know, and uh, it means. It means we are, we have two choices. Either a we have to what they call it to get some stuff and try and clean the gunk off it, which maybe I should do at some point, uh, or b we have to get make do without the memory card, which uh, see how far we can get in the game that uh, it requires saving and uh, and uh, basically when I when you play Eternal Darkness, if you if you die, you're basically screwed so yeah that's it so remember remember if you're going to if you ever get a card like this so let's say you're selling it if you're selling it on they call it online eBay you know what they call it never put a sticker on the metal parts okay you can put stickers on you can put the stickers on the price and stickers on the outside on a piece of paper but never never on the cards you can even put it in the like a, you can even make a little, little slot you know and things saying this card prices you know and things which is just kind of cool you know you don't have to get any sticky things but never stick anything on the back because those will those will break the uh, GameCube, GameCube cards, and 
and it, it and it won't be very good so and I urge anybody and I mean anybody whoever tries to buy, buy a GameCube card never buy one with a sticker just if you see one and it's got and it's got a ridiculous price sticker over that you know just to, just say uh, yeah forget it because it's not it's not worth the hassle you know it's not worth getting to it's not worth getting to what they call it a eternal darkness face it facing a big baddie boss and then fact and then finding out your game cards corrupted all of a sudden and no that's not the sanity effect so thank you for watching i am ethel red flame tail and that's a sleeping cats over there signing out